Today, we're talking about, you better sit down for this. Are you sitting down? Good, maybe I better sit down too. Because today, we're talking about sitting down. This is the lesson on posing and using a chair as your main prop. Why a chair? It's a common item that's found in nearly all studios. Not every portrait has a model standing. If you bring a non-model in for a photo shoot, they might sit down like this. Kind of stiff with good posture. It's how you pose for a school photo. This is a person who knows they're getting their picture taken. There's more than one way to pose in a seated position. How you pose will change the interpretation of an image. Watch how many different seated poses we can create by changing facial expression and posture. Let's start posing. A student attending a lecture that they're interested in. A student trying to stay awake. An adult trying to relate to teenagers. Waiting for the bus. watching TV, listening to a podcast, listening to a true crime podcast, lounging about in an old time opium den, looking sexy, being ambushed at an intervention, at a dinner party where you've poisoned someone and are waiting for the poison to take effect. Party, but you've accidentally poisoned yourself. The defendant on trial for murder waiting for the verdict. A TV political commentator who can't wait to speak. Waiting at the DMV. A student who got in trouble at school and is waiting for their parents to pick them up. Riding the bus, trying to avoid eye contact with people and hoping no one will sit next to you at the dinner table and starving for some grub. Being interrogated by the police. The detective doing the interrogation. Flash dance. Cabaret dancer. Working at a call center. Trying to deal with a call center's customer service as a customer. TV court judge in a full body cast. In labor, on your way to the hospital. An office drone at your desk. A dictator about to announce another national holiday honoring yourself. A psychologist pretending to listen to their patient but secretly trying to remember a song that's stuck in their head. At a bar, flirting with someone across the room, only to realize that you've been looking at a mirror. As you've seen, there's more than just one way to pose, even with something as mundane as a chair. Practice around in your home using common objects like a coffee mug. At first, you'll automatically hold it as usual. Try holding it as if you were trying to express an emotion or impersonating someone else. Imitation isn't just about changing your voice, it's also body language. A variety of poses is a good thing to have. It keeps your pictures from looking repetitive and shows that this is a model who has range beyond a person who knows that they're getting their picture taken. 